Welcome back, my name is Chris Miller, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna dig a little further into WordPress theming and focus specifically on the WordPress loop. Now, what the WordPress loop is, is a PHP loop that takes us through uh, the post information and gives us access to functions like the title and the content. If you're familiar with other programming, programming languages like JavaScript, then uh, loop uh, is gonna feel very familiar to you. But if you're not familiar, uh, familiar, I can't talk today, with um, loops, they are common practices uh, or techniques, rather. I I'm not going to use the correct terminology, I'm sure, but they're common things that are used throughout programming languages that allow you to uh, perform actions uh, over a series of things, okay? So hopefully, uh, I did some justice in explaining that, but let's get started. So we're gonna flip over here uh, first to some WordPress documentation. So we're gonna say uh, WordPress loop, and they have some great documentation on their loop. This is a very old concept, but still a very much tried and true concept uh, when it comes to uh, getting data really from any CMS um, in WordPress has a very well-documented way of how they do things. So I'm not gonna go through all the documentation here. We're gonna skim right down to the nitty gritty here, okay? If we take a look, uh, and there's a couple of different ways that you can format this, but it's all really written the same way, but at the core of the loop, it's saying if have post while have posts the post, okay? So what these are, these are functions, if you're not familiar with, uh, programming languages yet, but pretty much every programming language has its own function, and this is PHP. Um, but we we have a function called have posts, and this function is being called twice, okay? So if, all right, let's check in to see if, whenever this file's called and it goes out and tries to retrieve some information, it's checking to see if it has a post, if it comes back um, uh, positive or not null, okay? Um, so if have post, while have the post, so you know if there's one or more, it's gonna continue the loop, and then it's going to give us access to the post. And what the post function is doing for us is uh, it's going to allow us to use things like the title or the content to produce that particular post's title or content. So here's another example of uh, a, a loop that's including a lot more information we can see some HTML markup in here uh, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna scroll back up. And actually one, one thing I didn't, uh, I didn't touch on here, um, there's, there's two different ways that you can write this, right? This is, this is with uh, a PHP, um, uh, this is with PHP opening and closing at both top and bottom, and then everything you're writing inside there is PHP. This is another way to format it with PHP that's opening and then closing per line that allows you to write uh, some HTML markup uh, in a way that I personally feel uh, is, is a lot better, a lot easier to write. Um, that's just my flavor, my bias there. Uh, if writing it this way with a bunch of echo statements works for you, that's fine. Uh, and again, if you're not familiar familiar with PHP yet, you'll come to learn what I'm talking about in other videos when it comes to PHP and echo statements and all that good stuff. So, um, but uh, after you have the if and the while, you do need to have an end while and an end if, or else you're gonna get caught stuck in a continuous loop and you'll want to sort of stop, put a stop to that uh, at some point. So the method I like to write it out uh, instead of this method here is to use this method here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna move this over into our index.php file and I'm going to grab this, if I can do that appropriately, and paste it right into here. In our previous video, we talked about Git header and Git footer, so if you've missed that, please go check that one out, uh, and we'll explain to you, and that'll explain to you what those are doing. But we're just gonna focus on this here. 
If I save this and come back to the front end of our site, it's going to say that the site can't be reached. And I think that's because we didn't start the site. So let's go ahead and start the site. It may prompt us for a password. No, it didn't. Okay, great. Refresh. Great. Okay. This is the header. Let's go ahead and go into our header and we're going to remove that. And we're going to remove that. Okay, blank slate, great, that's what we want. And as a test, we'll put uh, hello world here. And again, we're in our index dot, uh, index dot PHP, hello world, refresh, hello world. I'm gonna take that back out. And again, if we hit refresh here on the front end, we have nothing. And that's because we have not, uh, use any functions that output any information to the front end inside of our loop. So what we need to do is inside of here on line five, we can begin to write out a WordPress function, I almost typed WordPress, the title. And inside of the loop, what this is going to do is when you're visiting that particular page on the front end, you're gonna see that page's title. So let's see what that does. Okay, we see a hello world. And it looks like that it has no formatting or maybe it's not being wrapped in a particular tag and that makes sense because we're not. So we're just going to throw an H1 there, hit save. And then now we have an H1. We can inspect that. Can you zoom in for us? Inspect that here, great, we have an H1. If we wanna be 100% sure that that is our H1, we can throw a class on it. We'll say here, do a refresh, we can see here, there. Cool, okay. Now, that's great and all, but you might be wondering if this is your first look at WordPress, well, where is that hello world coming from? If we click to visit the back end here, yeah, got it, great, thank you. And go to pages. No, I'm sorry, I believe that was post. That's a particular post that we're taking a look at. Okay, I'm a liar. Give me a second, let's recalibrate for a second. I'm looking at the home page. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a particular page. Let's go to sample page, I'm gonna click on view. Let's go ahead and close out of some of these tabs here. And we can see sample page here. Okay, if I wanna edit this page, I'm gonna click on edit page and say demo and hit update. Let's go ahead and click view page here at the top. Refresh and we can see that the title has changed to demo. If we want to change this to hello world, we can click update, hit refresh and now it says hello world. Now, what about this content here? Okay, we have content um, sitting below that title in what they call the WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. We're not seeing our content there on the front, so let's go ahead and do PHP, the content, and save that file, refresh, and boom. We've got our content on the front. We can Further demonstrate this by deleting the content and saying, hello world, this is a test. Let's go ahead and click update. Refresh, hello world, this is a test, all right? We're gonna end the video on that. Uh, that's getting a little bit further into um, more advanced techniques with theming or understanding where some of the WordPress functions and the WordPress loop. Uh, in future videos, we're going to cover more about theming as a developer in WordPress. Hope you found value in this video. Thanks for coming back again. Hope you come back again. Check more out. Please hit the subscribe button below. And yeah, this is awkward. <laughs>